a pastor, a husband, father of two, a seminary professor with a sense of humor. My dad was a great man. He was a great man with struggles. My dad reached a point of such hopelessness and despair that he took his own life. It was just six days after hackers exposed the names of millions signed up for Ashley Madison, a website for people seeking affairs. Gibson's name was on the list. I came home from work and um, I began to notice clues around the house that things were not what they were supposed to, to be. Eventually I discovered him and um, I, it was a moment I've, that life doesn't prepare you for. How do you, how do you tell your kids that their dad is gone and that he took his own life? I think that the hardest thing for me to deal with was that he honestly doubted the fact that I would love him enough. In his suicide note, Gibson wrote about being on Ashley Madison. Do you mind sharing a little bit of what he said in that note? He talked about his depression. Um, he talked about um, having his name on there, and he said he was just very, very sorry. He, um, he poured his life into other people, but somehow or other he couldn't extend that to himself. Facing the harsh reality of loss, Christy says there's also forgiveness. I still believe that it, it could have been fixed. It, it, it could have been healed in our life. Do you think that he worried that if this came out, that he could potentially lose his job? Yes, yes. yeah, definitely. And it's, it's um, <sighs> there's brokenness in every single one of us. We all have things that we struggle with but it wasn't so bad that we wouldn't have forgiven it. Mm -hmm. and, and so many people have said that to us. But for John, it carried with him such a shame. And he just, he couldn't see that. With a hack that left 32 million names of potential adulterers exposed, Christy has a message for communities grappling with infidelity. These were real people with real families and real pain. It's not funny. It, it's not a source for salacious gossip. What would you tell those people who are potentially contemplating the worst? Don't underestimate the power of love. Nothing, nothing is worth the loss of a father and a husband and a friend. It just didn't merit it. It didn't merit it at all.